guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope this room isn't as echoey as my previous videos. I have tried to fill this room with a little bit more stuff so it's not as echoey as I remember. I got a few um, comments on my Princess Polly video so let me know if that quality is better. I am going to get an external mic. Um, I just need to order it online but I'm still sort of like tossing up which one to get. Um, so eventually my sound will be absolutely amazing but for now I hope the audio is fine anyways I thought I would start off by doing a video of like my everyday go-to glam I got so many DMs and comments about my makeup for the boohoo shoot so I think I'm gonna recreate that I was gonna do my makeup and then just talk you through all of my favorite products this is kind of gonna be like my fave products of 2019 slash like what's in my travel makeup case like these are the products that i would take with me if i travel just like my absolute favorite products that i would wear on a day-to-day -day basis i would wear when i'm going out i'm not sure about you guys but when i find a product that works for me i stick to it and i'm loyal to that product i don't really want to try anything else because i just know that it works for me, it lasts, it looks good on me. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through pretty much everything and actually do my makeup at the same time. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. It actually feels really weird like sitting down and having a drink instead of me like videos a week hopefully so I'm gonna start off with my base if I was to do something heavy on my eyes or like dark colors I would do my eyes first because of the fallout but because this is more of like an everyday it's a very like soft glam look so I'm just gonna go in with my base first which is what I would normally do so the very first thing I do is obviously cleanse my face I use a Dermalogica clear start cleanser and then I use the um, daily micro Foliant, like maybe once or once every two weeks it just gets rid of all the dead skin cells and just makes a really nice base for makeup but I literally always use the clear start cleanser before makeup every time after I cleanse my face I go in with the emberless late cream concentrate I always get so many messages about this the website is in French but I will leave a list of all the products that I use but this is the one um, that I use. I haven't used any of the other ones. Um, I actually found out about this through, I think it was Mia Connor. She did my makeup a few years ago and she used it and I really loved it. It's really hydrating. On the back it does say multifunction nourishing moisturizer. So it says moisturizing mask, makeup primer and moisturizer for all skin types. I think they do have um, other ones like this if you have like dry skin or combo skin i'm not like 100 percent sure but i really like this one so i really just blend that in and then i leave that for a little bit just to like sort of settle into my skin and then i go in with brows these are the two makeup cases that i take with me traveling because i can't fit it all into this like let's be real so for brows for a very long time i've been loving just using brow pencil if you would have asked me a year ago what i used i probably would have said the cabral by benefit or the anastasia dip brow i don't know why i just love using pencils i find them so easy to use and probably the most natural looking so what i like to do is i just like to use the spoolie um, on the end and brush my hairs up and then this one is in the shade medium brown but as i said before i will list everything that i used I'm going to bring this a little bit forward. Kind of just like go in the same direction as my hair. I don't really like to put on too much product just because my eyebrows are tattooed. So I don't really need to do much. Sometimes I like to make them thicker at the arch. But that is literally all I do to my brows. 
And then what I would do is I would go in with my Benefit Gimme Brow. I use this in the shade number three and I just use that to go over my brows to set them in place. And it makes them look a little bit more fluffier because it's got those little fibers in it. And now I'm gonna go in with another primer. Dermalogica sent me this a few months ago and I freaking love it. It's their Skin Perfect Primer and it also has SPF 30 in it. Um, which is great for your skin. It's kind of like that um, Benefit Professional consistency. So it kind of evens out your skin tone as well, but I love this stuff. It makes your skin feel freaking amazing. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. My face feels so freaking soft right now. Okay, so for foundation, I have been using this Laura Mercier Flawless Lumia Radiance Perfecting Foundation for, I would have to say like 8 to 10 months now. Honestly, this has been my go-to foundation for every sort of event, whether it's an everyday look, going out. I just love the finish and the look it gives my skin. It's not too cakey, but it does have that coverage, but it still makes your skin look nice and glowy. So I just used this iconic London like Kabuki brush. It's really, really old and I need to clean it. Um, and I'll just go in first with a few pumps and really like buff it into the skin. When I first started makeup, I would never do this step. And I always wonder why my face would look cakey, but you literally need to blend and push the product literally in your skin. So if you've had troubles with your foundation looking cakey, you need to try this trick with a kabuki brush and really press it in. So I do end up buffing foundation underneath my eyes. I feel like in the past I've tried to just leave the under eye area mainly for concealer. And because I like to put a lighter concealer underneath the eyes to um, brighten them, it can look a little bit full on. So I do like to um, press a foundation underneath my eyes as well. And then I'll only just use a little bit of concealer um, to brighten and conceal. Just because I feel like the foundation does a really good job at that anyways. Really important to go all the way down your neck. You don't need to go over your whole ear, but just at least blend it in with like the beginning of your ear and really press it in. So there is my base done. How gorgeous and glowy does it look? I sometimes don't even set my face just because I love that look. I love that dewy finish that it gives. Um, but if I am to go out all day, I will set it with a translucent powder. Okay, so for concealer, I probably can't choose a favorite, but I rotate between these three. The Boing Cakeless Concealer, freaking love it. Um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in this form and then in the pot form. Both in the shade Custard. I find that that works well with my skin tone, especially when I have a fake tan on, which I do right now. I also tried the new Bondi Sands Aero Ultra Dark and I freaking love it. I did like one really light layer and it is so dark for me. I love it. Um, so I'm going to go in with this, the pot, because I feel like I've used the... Um, benefit one a lot in my video so I'm gonna go in with this and I just use it with a concealer brush and just pat it under I don't like to put too much underneath the eyes because then I find it looks cakey the more product you put on your face the more cakey your face is gonna look um, so I just put on a little bit like that to be honest sometimes I don't even bother doing this step like for an everyday look, I probably wouldn't highlight down the center of my face. But if I was going out or going to an event um, or a photo shoot, I would do the whole shebang. So I'm going to grab my Wet Beauty Blender. This is actually a new one by Beauty Blender. Um, and apparently when you use cold water, it turns purple. And if you use warm water, I think it turns blue. So that's super cool. Um, and then I'm just going to use that to blend out my concealer and then I'll go in and blend out the rest of my foundation. I just find the Beauty Blender gives the most flawless finish. I love it. Now to set my concealer in place, I feel like this product is a no-brainer. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I freaking love this stuff. I've probably gone through about 
10 or 15 of them in my time, honestly. Um, and I usually would use a brush like this. This is a Rebond brush. I'm not sure if that brand even exists. They sent it to me years ago. But I just like how small and dense it is. And I just look up and pat it underneath my eyes. I don't really bake that much anymore. Um, I feel like this really works the product into the skin. And I know that it's actually going into my skin to set. Um, so yeah, I do this and really press in the product. And then a trick to avoiding those creases is just really packing it on on the sides of your nose. If I was to get oily, like in summer, I always get oily down my T-zone, so I just add a bit of extra powder down here. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna take the same translucent powder and just press it on. I did go through a phase where I liked using the Pat McGrath um, powder foundation, but I feel like I don't need extra coverage. And I feel like sometimes when I go over my liquid foundation with a powdered foundation, that's when it looks cakey. Even if your skin is textured or you've got acne or scarring, the more product you put on your skin, the more it'll bring out that texture. So um, when I was in high school, I would literally pack it on, like pack it on to the point where it would be this thick, but um, in actual fact, it did look worse. So yeah, I find that with the face, less is more. Um, if you do have pimples, don't pack your foundation over that area. Just conceal it, spot conceal it a bit, and then just go over with your regular foundation routine. You don't need to put like five or six layers on your textured areas because trust me, it'll end up looking so much worse and you're congesting that area like further. So for bronzer, my absolute favorite at the moment is the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. I use this in my kit as well on my clients. Absolutely gorgeous. I use a Zoeva Luxe Cheek Sheer Brush. It is just so amazing. And it gives you a really, really, really soft, bronze look like I feel like I didn't even really do much it just gives a really nice sun-kissed bronzed color without it looking orange but it's not matte it's like got little it's really hard to explain it's just really gritty <laughs> and I'll just put that on my cheeks like so so I just go on with that and then, of course, my favorite sculpting slash contouring powder is Benefit Cooler. I've been using this bronzer ever since I started makeup. It was actually my first bronzer purchase. Um, I'd seen so many people rave about it. And honestly, it is the best bronzer slash contour product ever. If you don't have this in your life, you need it. The brush that it comes with does really help if you're a beginner just to really sculpt out the cheekbones. I can't find mine, it's somewhere in here. Um, but I'll just use this same brush and I'll just really lightly chuck that into the hollows of my cheeks, around my forehead, and then I'll go down the sides of my nose. I've actually been into nose contouring lately. Like I use a different brush sometimes. I'll try this one. This is just like a blending brush and just go on either side of my nose. Just kind of makes it look a bit more snatched. And then I'll go underneath the jaw. Very important if you've got a few chins you want to hide. Chuck this underneath. Chuck it here. And make your neck look skinny. <laughs> I'm such a catfish. Okay, so now I'm just going to get some translucent powder again, the Laura Mercier, on a damp blender. And I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to go all the way to the side of my mouth. Because sometimes I feel like it gives me the illusion that I've got a round face when I like take it all the way. So I just take it out halfway and then blend the rest out. The blush that I've been loving actually only just recently because I did make a order 
um, through Kim K's beauty range. I think it's just KKW Beauty. And I got the Makeup by Mario Muse collection. And oh my god, I've been loving the blush and the eyeshadow palette. So, I, yeah, here it is. So it's this one. It's in the shade Very Graceful. It's more of a corally color. The one thing I hate about the package is it's so... I literally just put my nail through it. Oh my god. I really love this shade. Typically, I do like to go for blushes with more of like a sheen or a shine to it. I think I've got my Chloe Becca palette. Anyways, I've used that in so many of my tutorials. So the Chloe collab with Becca, her palette is stunning. I love the blush and the highlighter out of that. So that's what I've typically used. But since trying this, I just love the color um, of this with that bronzer. I just think it looks really nice together. So I just put that on my cheeks and bring it up to the sides of my temples like that. I like that it's not overly pigmented. You can just sort of see a little bit of color on my cheeks. This is a hard one because I do like to experiment with different highlighters because I love highlighting. But I would have to say my favorite at the moment is this Jouer one. Um, it's in the shade Citrine. It is stunning. I'll show you guys. Okay, so you only need like the littlest bit because it is so pigmented. Oh, I didn't have enough on my brush. Oh my god, it's blinding. It's so pretty. So I like to put it above the arch of my brow, below the arch, just here on the high points. And just really blending it into that cheekbone. I like to also put it on the inside of my eyes. Down here. Okay, so now that I have finished my base, I'm going to go on with eyes. I love the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I've been using it for ages now. So I'm just going to use a concealer brush and put some on the back of my hand. I use the shade number two and I'm going to use that to define underneath my brows and then I'll blend it down all the way to my lid so I'm just gonna buff that in I might actually zoom you guys up for the eyes so you can see a bit closer the one thing I love about this base is that you don't need to set it I know it's a really scary thought not setting your eye base but it actually makes the eyeshadows blend really nicely I'm just gonna wipe off this bakage this is the Becca and Chloe palette that I was talking about. This blush I really fucking love. It is amazing. Um, it's, what's it called? BFF's Bronze Blush and Glow Palette. So good. I actually got a few of these on sale recently. I bought two more because I don't know what I would do without it because it's that good. I would have to say before this, which I only got... Was it just before I left to Queensland? No, I got it in Queensland. I was using the Fenty Beauty, I think they're called the Snap Shadows. I got these sent to me months ago before they were released. And ever since I got these sent, I've been using them because they're just so nice, so easy to travel with, and they're just the perfect colors. So this one is number seven, I think. Yeah, number seven. I was using that shade a lot and that for my inner corner. And then this one is number three, and it also has really nice shades in it as well. So I used that one and then the brown a lot. But yeah, they're the Fenty Snap Shadows that only recently just came out. So loving those. I use them a lot. Um, but since getting this, I've been experimenting with it and trying it out. And I love the formula of these eyeshadows, really surprisingly. Um, I bought it because I love makeup. By Mario and I wanted to support him um, and obviously love Kimmy 
Um, so yeah, I have been using this palette a lot, so I'm going to show you guys how I've been using it. So I've been loving this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush A10. It's really good, really dense. Um, it packs on a lot of product, but it also blends it out really nicely. Um, so I've been using this shade right here, which is called Don't Move. It's just a really nice, sort of like a transition color, but I've been pretty much putting this like all over the lid. I do my eyeshadow so fast. Like when I'm on a mesh, I can do this whole shabam in 10 minutes. Um, so I'm really taking my time today to like do it properly for you guys. This is probably the best it'll ever look. <laughs> um, but yeah, I literally am so quick with my eyeshadow, even in my makeup in general, like I just slap it on and hope for the best. Um, but yeah, I just put this pretty much all over my lid, in my crease, and just blend it up. You don't want too much of this going um, like near your brow bone. You just want it sort of blending up enough so you can see it when your eyes are open. So that's actually all I've been doing with my eyeshadow. How easy was that? Like that probably just took me like two secs to do that. Just real easy to blend and it's a nice color. So I do that and then I go in with a Luxe Classic Shader by Zoeva. Um, Zoeva brushes are probably my favorite brand of brushes. I absolutely love them. I'm just gonna go in with that exact same shade and I always do this face, I don't know why. <laughs> go underneath my lash line. So now I'm taking I'm Inspired, which is a dark brown. Actually not that dark, but it's darker than the first color I used. And I'm just really like pushing that into my lower lash line, trying to get as close to the lash line as possible. And then sometimes I just leave my eyes like this, nice and matte. Other times I feel like a little bit of shimmer on the lid. So I'll just take my finger and go in with this. It's called a beauty campaign. And just like pat that on. And just pat that on my lids just to give it, I don't know, a little bit of shimmer, dimension. Makes it look like you actually spent a lot of time on your makeup when you do that. So just popping that on. And then finally for eyeliner. This is a hard one because I do love two liners. I love the Huda Beauty one. It is hard to use this when you have lash extensions because it is like a it's like a liquid like this. It's not in a pen form. So that can be difficult and it can sort of stick to your eyelashes and it's not a good time trying to get this off because it is it literally doesn't come off like at all. So I've been using the Fenty Beauty one. Um, just because it's easier to apply with my lashes. I have been using this Fenty Beauty Fly Liner for ages now. Um, this is probably my third one. Um, it's just so easy to use and it's super black. So I start off at the end of the wing and I use this as a guide to where my wing wings out. So I give it a bit of a shake, close my eyes for a bit so I can kind of see, open my eyes and then, ready? Boom. Okay, so now I've got my base. And then literally all I do is sometimes I'll go in and do this and fill in the top. Or sometimes I do this connecting first. But then all I do is I take my pen, angle it this way, and you kind of just go down, just follow the pen. There's no really easy way to sort of explain but I just kind of hold my pen like this and I go not all the way from the top but maybe like half a centimeter from the top I take my pen and just go down it does look a bit weird like in the process but I always go back and fix it up make it sharper I also forget to breathe Right, we got there. And then for lips, I swear to God, if you guys don't know what my favorite lip color is, 
sorry, lip combo is, then something's not right because I, <laughs> look how small it is. Riley paid me out, so I whipped it out and she goes, you can't be serious. I was like, I'm not wasting it. Like, why would I waste my favorite lip liner? Even though I have a few backups, like I'm not wasting this when there's like that much in it, you know? Sometimes I literally just wear this on its own and I'll always fill in my lips with it because I freaking love the color so much. They need to come out with a lipstick. So my favorite lip colors, I would have to say, that I use on rotation is on top of this lip liner, I'll use Velvet Teddy, I'll use Honey Love. I have been loving ombre lips at the moment, so I'll put Myth by MAC, they, they were all MAC lipsticks by the way, Myth by MAC in the middle, that creates a really nice like ombre lip. But when I ordered my KKW, um, Kim Kardashian and Makeup by Mario pack, um, I got this as well. I'm not sure if this was included in the um, collab. It may have been, it may have not, but it's called Proud of You. Maybe it was. Yeah, it came with this lip liner, I think. Um, I love it so much. Um, it's like a really light, nudey peach color, but it looks really nice over the top of this lip liner. So that's the color. It's literally what I've been wearing on my lips since I got it. Um, and then finally to set my face, my favorite setting spray is still the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You can get this from Mecca. It is so nice and refreshing and it's probably one of the only setting sprays I've actually noticed a visible difference at the end of the day when using it. As opposed to my other ones, I think I've used I still do like the Urban Decay one. I haven't really had any problems with that, but like as for foundation wear, my foundation has never looked so good at the end of the day after um, using this to set it in place. It's just really good. So yeah, this is literally what I would put on my face if I was to go to lunch, if I had to film a video, take a photo, go out. It's literally my like, Go to makeup look. Oh my god, I almost forgot the bird shit in a corner highlight. I was looking at myself and I'm like, I'm not done. Like I've I'm missing something. Wow. Okay. So for my bird shit, if you guys don't know the bird shit comment, I got a message. No, I got a comment on one of my tutorials saying it looks like you've just put bird shit in the middle of your eyes. It's like Girl, it's cute. So for my bird shit, I use the Metallics Eyeshadow by Astralis. This is in the shade Amy Winehouse. Oh, I will not get over that comment, honestly. And I'll literally just put that in the inner corners. And then I've just been using the Jouer highlighter that I've used um, on my cheeks for the inner corner. It's just really pigmented. Um, or I would use the Kim K one, the Kim K palette, and I'll use that like champagne color. But oh my god, it just makes your brow bone pop as well. Okay, I feel like myself now. That is it. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something new. I've been using this same routine for so many months now. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what other beauty videos you want to see from me in the comments down below. Whether it's like a first impression from a foundation, trying a makeup palette that's just been released. Literally hit me with anything down below and I will try my hardest to make it happen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.